Okay, it's time for part two of my gunny puck installation on my truck. So, uh, it's the first week of October, and I finally got a little bit of free time here. So I was just outside fooling around with my ohm meter here, making sure that everything is grounded. I believe it is very, very grounded, so I simply... Uh, took and tested from the top of my cab to the top of the canopy and when I did that I get this really nice solid connection just like you see here so if I've got that good connection everything must be good because the top of the canopy is getting a ground the same ground that the top of the uh, <clears throat> cab has so I still am going to add a grounding strap. I picked this up a few days ago on my way home from work. It's simply a real short little battery cable. Um, it's got the perfect end that I need right here. This will mount to the base, to one of the mounting bolts of the gunny puck. And then the other end, which I had to actually fabricate just a tad little bit, is going to mount to the frame of the, uh, of the canopy. And I know the ground is good there. So this is just going to ensure that my gunny puck CB mount is properly grounded. And it only cost a couple of bucks. cost me a few minutes to fabricate it. And it'll cost me a couple more minutes to simply install it. Pretty easy. And then I need to build my coax. This is a 9 foot piece of coax that I got here. There's one already installed in the truck, in the dash. One end, up, one end comes out of the dash underneath, which will connect to the radio. The other end is ran underneath the carpet and comes out underneath the bench seat on the passenger side. Not going to be enough to get all the way back to the gunny puck. So I need to add this other piece. So I'm hoping just 18 feet will do it. Um, gonna have to wait and see once I get the radio in there if I'm gonna need to add a little bit more to make the standing wave ratio come out good or not but I'm hoping 18 feet will do it I do have another 9 foot section to add but I, I don't want to do that so now I need to go ahead and cut this thing off right here and put this thing together it looks pretty simple but it's gonna take a little bit of time to do that and then once this is done, we can take the grounding strap out outside and this and get this connected up and get the coax ran through the back window. Not Still not quite sure how I'm going to do that, but I got a little bit of an idea. So before I start building this coax connection, I wanted to share a few pictures off the Gunny Puck webpage of others that have uh, installed a Gunny Puck. And this is what the mounts underneath should look like with the coax. It is pretty simple to make this coax connection, but it is a little tedious and it'll take some time. Okay, well, it's been a little bit of a chore here. I ended up having to snip off a lot more because I kept breaking my ground off. But it's okay. Got 18 feet. Uh, don't think it's going to be a big deal. So this is going to be my connection. I got this plate out that I didn't use. And this is how it's going to mount right there. So uh, this is my hot wire. It's not crimped on there or soldered whatsoever. And that's, this here is my ground. So that's as simple as it is. It's, it's pretty simple. So I've got to go outside and get my crimping tool. And then uh, <clears throat> we'll crimp that. And we may end up having to solder it as well. Just to make sure. So uh, let's see. Uh, let's uh, just continue working on this. See how fast I can get it done. Okay, I'm waiting for my 
my old antique 30 year old <laughs> soldering iron to warm up it's getting hot it's getting hot for sure this thing is so old I'm shocked it even works but um, this is all the solder I got dog on it that's it I, uh, that should be enough because all I need to do is solder the uh, the positive on I crimped it down and boy did I reef on that but, uh, I sat there and folded that over 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 so it'll fit in there because that's the only size I had I needed that size I anyway we're gonna solder that to make sure it stays because that needs to stay that needs to definitely stay and then the ground I'm just gonna solder this in because I folded this back over and then stuck that into the into that eye there and I might drop a little bit on there but if the the ground comes off it's no big deal it's not gonna short out and unless it comes over here and touches that then it will short out so I should definitely uh, solder a little bit there so don't have very much unfortunately just didn't realize I was practically out so uh, should have enough to do this all right there we go we've soldered that up used up every little piece of my solder still pretty hot we got that on there <clears throat> the hot eye on there the ground and we also sealed that up so it should be good to go should be good it needs to match up with these holes and it does just about perfectly yeah yep it'll work good so I need to check this with the uh, the ohmmeter <clears throat> after it cools down make sure that there's no short in it and this is good to go so next step is to take this outside and uh, along with the grounding cable and uh, start wearing everything up.